indigo children have access to human experience at a larger level, at a greater depth than most people do. They access the data in a different way, the incoming data of life. And they access data that some people don't have access to at all. And so sometimes indigo children are mistaken or misunderstood to be children with attention deficit disorder or children with some sort of deficit of, of some kind or another. And in fact, it isn't that they have a deficit, but they have a supplement. They have more, not less. If we have our indigo children mask their spiritual gifts with substances like Ritalin or fast food that's being sold on school campuses for lunch, then we are literally shackling these children. We're putting them into chemical straitjackets. When you're trying to put them in a curriculum in a school system where they have to learn a little bit about everything kind of in a spiral as they're growing, that doesn't work for them because they want to take a subject, grab onto it, sink their teeth in, and go until they've gotten to a point where they're finished with that subject. Then they come back and grab another one. A lot of these kids really need to be in private, private schools or home tutored. So unfortunately, when you're in groups of 20, 30, 40 kids, you have to behave. You have to be able to sit there for an hour, 45 minutes, 55 minutes. And for many of them, that's just asking too much. In my life, I've been diagnosed bipolar, manic depressive, schizophrenic, psychotic. But I had one doctor who, after I had my, quote, breakdown, tried to jump off some buildings and whatnot, uh, he said to me, Miss Kirkland, um, they're going to probably tell you never to be an actress again, that you're too emotional, you're too this, you're too that. He said, um, don't listen to them. He said, in Asia, in my country, you would be considered um, an artist. But in your country, you're, you're labeled. You're, um, because you're too creative, you're too artistic, um, you're considered crazy. These kids are being, if you want to say it, sort of tripped into this hyperactivity. It's because they're, they're getting junk food, they're getting, uh, often they're, they're precipitated by having mercury in their environment, mercury in fish, mercury from cogen plants. They're, some of the older ones have had it filled into their teeth. And then also there's the fact that the younger ones are getting it actually through vaccinations. A lot of these uh, young children will be quite normal, and, well, what we call normal, until they're tripped into uh, having vaccinations, repeated vaccinations throughout childhood with, with thimerosal, which is a mercury-based preservative. I can't imagine any kind of artificial substance or pharmaceutical or drug that you could put into the body of a child that could substitute for or provide you with more profound or deeper impact than love, caring, compassion, and acceptance. You know, a lot of indigos are labeled ADHD, which the medical community will tell you stands for attention deficit with hyperactivity disorder. But I think that ADHD stands for attention dialed into a higher dimension.